hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is chris as always and in today's video i'm going to show you how to download and install the java gdk on windows 10. before i can proceed to the downloading of the java gdk we have to check for our system if there is no current installed java gdk you go in the run and type cmd like this one and press enter and it will bring the command prompt so as to check for the previous java installation Go ahead and type Java like this one, Java hyphen hyphen version to check the current version of Java that you have on your system. If it returns like this one that the Java is not recognized as an internal or external command, you have to configure it and you have to keep watching this video. You can go ahead and check for the Java C2 to see if it is now installed. You can see that it is, is showing me the same, which means that the system doesn't contain any Java and so we are going to download the Java GDK from the official website and we'll perform the installation. Let's go ahead and close this uh, command prompt and open your favorite browser. In this case, I'm going to use Chrome. You can use Firefox, you can use uh, Opera. It can depend on the, uh, the on the your flavor of browser that you like to use. So let's wait for my Chrome to open. Once my Chrome is ready and opened, you can go ahead on the search bar and type Java. Um, let's Java GDK like this one and then press enter. And the first link that will come from the result will be from this oracle.com and that is the owner of this Java GDK. So no doubt to go ahead and click on the first link that we will see here and to redirect you to the Java uh, download um, page which is from Oracle and you can see that the, for the time of this recording the Java 17 is the one that is available for now and if you are seeing the difference results can be that you are watching this video and the versions have been successfully changed but don't get this tweeted it will be the same the configuration and the instructions are the same so go ahead and navigate to, to down there you will see there will be some platform there will be for the linux for mac os and for the windows of course i'm using the windows so i will go ahead on the windows tab here and I will see there will be the, some installers, there will be some XE installer, there will be some compressed archive, and there will be also the MSI installer. In this case, I prefer to use the this installer, which is for the AXE. And I will go ahead and place on this link so as to start the download. The download will start in no time, and you can see that the download is now started. But for uh, the sake of making this video short, I'm going to cancel this one because I have downloaded the setup uh, before recording this, this video. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this one. And I'm going to go where my GDK is installed, so minimize the clone. And I'm going to double click on the setup so as to start it. All right, once this is started, I'm going, going to go ahead and minimize this so as to have a clean and neat workspace to see what's going on here, guys. And we have to go ahead and place on next. And after place on next, it will show you the folder on where it's going to install the Java GDK. And you have to pay attention and you have a closer observation on this folder because this is very, very useful. It is the one that contains everything that we are going to cover in this video. And in this case, it is in C, Program Files, Java GDK 17. Go ahead and place on next because we have a like, crew on what we are going to do and the folder that we are going to target. And we have to wait for this progress to end and we continue with the other things. Alright, cool. You can see that the setup now is completely successfully installed and you are ready to go. You can see that it is going to show us for the next steps, but we are not going to do that. Uh, go ahead and press close. And the next thing to do is to go on your Explorer. I'm going to go on my Explorer here. I will go to this PC. And after I am in my lo local disk location or I'm in this PC, Go ahead and make a right click and go to properties. After click properties, it will bring this. And 
you will come down and choose where it is written see advanced system seat settings go ahead and press on there and it will bring also this all this on this advanced tab you can see there will be an environment variable uh, tab go ahead and click on this one and after we do that you can you can come to this a uh, uh, explorer tool and go on local disk c we're going to navigate to where we installed our java gdk and go in the program files we will go in the java and the gdk 17 and you go in the bin after you go in the bin you can go on the right here and make uh you can go ahead and do like this one let it undo this go on here like this one and copy address after you copy address you come on here and you can see there will be a lot of things here you have to go on the path like here and click on edit and after you do that you can go ahead and uh, make on new after you do that you can go ahead and copy the uh that address that we use we use to copy like there you can see that i was having some entries here so let me go ahead and delete this and i am having the this location for my uh, java go ahead and press on ok and i'm going also to to make some other uh variable here i'm going to make some um, new uh, variable for this one so i'm going to make a new and i'm going to call this java underscore home and i'm going to copy the same location but we are have to to remove some things here i'm going to remove this up to gdk 17 and i will go ahead and press on ok and ok again after i do that i can go ahead and place on ok here and close all this one because we don't we don't need them for this time so i'm going to go ahead in the run and try to do what i did at the starting of this video i was trying to write a java hi hyphen hyphen version like this one and you can see that we are no longer getting the errors but we have we are having this java 17 2021 and this and you have this also this java se runtime and this hotspot tm and you can check for the java compiler too which is the java c like this one hyphen hyphen version and you can see that we have this java 17 compiler as uh, we pre-installed on our setup this is basically how you can install the java gdk on your system and and if you met with any errors let me know in the comments and i hope guys you find this video very helpful and interesting and if you liked it don't hesitate to go ahead and press like and if you are coming on the channel for the first time and you find that you need to sub so as to see more videos like this one go ahead and subscribe which is that red button and turn on the bell icon to get notification while i upload a video so that was it for today guys i hope i will see you guys on the next time peace